Hello, our group today will be presenting Kraft Heinz Company. Today's agenda will include about Kraft Heinz Company, their HR problem and implications, our proposed strategy to implement, expected outcomes of our proposal, and our conclusion. For 150 years, Kraft Heinz Company has produced some of the world's most beloved products. Kraft Heinz is an American food company formed by the merger of Kraft Foods and Heinz with co-headquarters in Chicago, Illinois and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The merger occurred on July 2nd, 2015, creating the fifth largest food and beverage company in the world. Roughly $1.7 billion in savings were extracted from merging the two food companies. The company has an unparalleled portfolio of powerful and iconic brands with employees in over 40 countries and their products today are found in 200 countries. In 2019, its net sales were reported to be $25 billion. Also in 2019, Kraft Heinz hired a new CEO, Miguel Patricio. He is a longtime product and marketing guru from Anheuser-Busch in Bev, a multinational drink and brewing company. The company takes social responsibility very seriously. As stated in their company profile, their vision is to be the best food company growing a better world. They believe that growing a better world means working to improve our planet, its people, and the communities where we work and live. Rise Against Hunger has partnered with the Kraft Heinz Company Foundation since 2013 to help undernourished children and families in developing countries around the globe. This is called the Micronutrient Campaign, and it is Kraft Heinz's signature humanitarian program. By partnering with Rise Against Hunger, 250 million meals have been distributed in 60 countries, containing a unique formula of micronutrient powders. These were created by Kraft Heinz and they contain 18 essential vitamins and minerals that provide an entire day's worth of nutrition. The Kraft Heinz Company Foundation also sponsors Rise Against Hunger meal packaging events to engage its global workforce and community members in the fight against hunger and malnutrition. Today, the employees have packaged over 7.5 million meals since 2013. And now for the next part, Alex will be discussing the HR problem and implications. Thank you, Melissa. My name is Alex and I'll be discussing Kraft Heinz HR issues, implications, and their strategies to implement. So according to a research study that we found on Glassdoor.com, Kraft Heinz received a 2.4 out of 5 star rating out of 2,500 reviews, with only 29% of those reviews recommending the company to a friend. So with falling revenue and earnings, employment planning and recruiting has been prioritized. The company is faced with a retention issue and a problem attracting and hiring employees. One of the biggest challenges facing a company following a merger is the integration of two separate workforces into one unified company. Another issue is strategic employment planning, which is critical to maximize efficiency of the recruiting process. Additionally, the company received a subpoena from the Securities and Exchange Commission, citing issues to its accounting policies and internal controls, thus creating a need for new hires. Moving on to their implications, with these HR issues, this can lead to high turnover rate, disengaged employees, losing competitive advantage, and losing market share. It will become necessary to look at the organization as a whole with a goal of restructuring efficiently and effectively. Change is a concept that most people don't enjoy and change in the workplace can create high levels of stress, underperformance, and decreased motivation. If employees don't feel like they are being communicated with, honestly, it can create mistrust and apprehension which will prevent the new company from growing. To regain a competitive edge, Kraft Times will need to address these hiring issues and secure a productive and efficient workforce. So some strategies that they can implement. It is critical to have a thorough understanding of the skills and abilities of the existing workforce. To accomplish this, having input from employees um, from both companies who are familiar with the workforce will provide valuable insight. 
There might be some people in the workforce who have abilities that were being underutilized that can now transition into filling needed vacancies. Every attempt should be made to put value on loyal employees who are effective, but this also requires that they embrace the change that is happening. It may also be possible to make lateral moves within the workforce to meet demands or needs. To fill vacancies, recruitment externally or internally each have their own advantages and disadvantages. Ideally, filling vacancies using internal recruitment to avoid layoffs is a good strategy to keep employee loyalty. Looking outside of the company might be necessary as it has the potential to bring out a fresh new perspective and some new talent. Every attempt should be made to find an employee through external recruitment that will complement the existing workforce and help to create cohesion. And I'll be passing it on to Demetha. Thank you. Hi, I'm Demetha. I will be talking about our strategy for Kraft Heinz. In order to address the HR issues facing the company, as Alex mentioned, we are proposing to strengthen the recruitment strategy. Starting from the stage of identifying hiring needs, attracting the right candidates, interviewing, selecting, hiring, and onboarding. We will now zoom in on each of these elements of recruitment. The first step in identifying hiring needs is to conduct a job audit and develop accurate job descriptions to identify responsibilities, requirements, and compensation needs. Then evaluate current workforce, their knowledge, skills, and abilities, which helps us identify their gaps. Encourage promotion within, which is in line with Kraft Heinz um, culture of meritocracy. This ensures career progression of the existing workforce and is a motivational factor. Then we can focus on replacing employees at the entry level positions, bringing in new perspectives. The staffing needs also have to be aligned with the company priorities, which will help determine the types of employees we need, such as part-time, full-time consultants, um, making overall staffing more efficient and fit for purpose. According to research done by Glassdoor, um, only 29% would recommend the company to a friend. Clearly, this is an issue with attracting candidates, and some of it can be mitigated by improving our brand image and allowing our candidates to get to know us beyond the job description. So strong social media presence um, helps connect with potential candidates. Um, the videos that Kraft Heinz currently offers on its website are full of buzzwords, um, but lacks authenticity. These videos should feature employees at all levels within the company. The existing internship program needs to be reevaluated since only about 30% of MBAs and other trainees accept summer offers. These could be great future leaders if we can increase our presence at universities and persuade how the company is mutually beneficial for these potential candidates. Develop a mobile app similar to Ketchup, which is the internal app used by employees. This will help encourage, um, engage candidates more conveniently, streamline application process, elevate communication, and provide timely updates. Interviews goes two ways. Um, while we are interviewing the candidate, they are also interviewing us. Properly training the hiring team makes a big difference in conducting successful interviews. It's best to conduct panel interviews to minimize the effects of bias in our decision making. We are proposing a competency-based interview method on the premise that past experiences are the best predictor of future behavior. Selecting the right candidate entails evaluating their overall organizational fit. Based on data from Comfortably, Kraft Heinz is ranked in the bottom 15% for diversity. It's not just about fulfilling legal requirements. A diverse workforce brings in new perspectives and ideas. References also play an important role. Feedback from professional connections gives us important insights into our candidates going beyond the resume and the interview. Also offering a potential trial period of three months whenever possible helps us reduce the risk associated with fully committing to an employee before getting to know them. Finally, hiring and onboarding. We have to improve Kraft Heinz's current candidate relationship management system, which includes building relationships throughout the recruitment process, creating a roster of qualified candidates from the existing pool of applicants for future opportunities, Lastly, we have to leverage technology. As a global company investing in new technologies, such as augmented re um, reality can expedite the onboarding and induction process for new hires. It also helps eliminate uh, paperwork, 
engage employees and use of data to make informed HR decisions. With that, I am handing it over to my teammate, Nick. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nicholas Cole, and I'll be discussing the expected outcomes of our recruitment strategy. First and foremost, we're looking to increase our overall pool of applicants. Uh, not only do we want to attract a greater volume of potential hires, um, but also we want, to, um, we want a higher quality of applicant, namely one that will match the company culture. Um, this means we want new hires that are more experienced and proficient at the task that are deemed essential to meeting company goals. Uh, we also expect that these new hires and our incumbents will, fear, will feel a higher sense of motivation. Um, with this increase in employee motivation, we're hoping to lower the overall employee turnover rate, which will save the company in recruitment and training costs. We're looking to maintain our staff and keep them motivated in the hopes of building a pool of loyal, dedicated employees that will mirror the company vision. Uh, with this vision for our staff in mind, the overall hope is that we're able to build upon the company reputation, arguably our most valuable potential asset. Um, and as previously mentioned, our company recruitment strategy will be broken down into five steps. The first of which is identifying hiring needs. Uh, we're hoping this will lead to an improved understanding of which employees we're looking to hire. This will be primarily credited to the outlining of specific skills required for all employees moving forward. Furthermore, our system of recognition will reward the hard work of specific employees, primarily by offering promotions and bonuses, providing a maintainable incentive system. We're also expecting that identifying hiring needs will allow the company to more easily have the, uh, the appropriate number of employees on staff at any given time. The second step of the strategy, um, attracting the right candidates, will help us to garner more interest in posted positions. However, it is very important that these positions are advertised correctly. Uh, with that comes the expectation of an increase in the number of mediums we will be able to reach out to candidates. Once drawn to the company, our improved internship program will lower the company's risk and provide a trial period. During the interview process, we are expecting that the company will hire the desired employees due to an advanced level of training our interviewers will receive. We expect that this highly trained staff will lead to diversity in, in decision making, but there is also the expectation that applicants will be hired more on a specific knowledge basis than before, further ensuring that we find candidates with the proper skill set. Uh, during selection, we expect that applicants will be hired that directly fit the company vision, we also expect that there will be a high level of diversity and therefore a wide range of perspectives to contribute to the company vision. Along with diversity, we're expecting these applicants to have references, which will ensure us that we're screening applicants with legitimate connections and experience. This, along with the previously mentioned trial period, will hopefully lower company risk. With the final step of the process, hiring and onboarding, we're expecting applicants that are eager to be a part of the company because they because it is our hope that um, they will feel welcome. Once these new hires are brought in, uh, all company policies and statements will be made readily available to them so that they remain informed and motivated. Thank you, Nick. As a conclusion, I would like to finish our presentation by saying a famous quote from the new CEO. Where there is transformation, there is opportunity. The future of Kraft Heinz company looks hopeful. It has been a shaky transition for the company. However, the company's decision to hire such a promising CEO will help bring it back to where it was before. Our recruitment strategy is the best way to accomplish a renewed HR department. Resolving the company's recruitment issues comes down to applying the recruitment strategy from the beginning stage, once again, and making sure that the company's current employees are embracing the transition um, into the new company. Um, they need to have a correct attitude and training that is necessary to make it work. Like with any change, this process will take some time, but implementing a recruitment strategy will be the solution to issues the company has been facing. Employee turnover will be less if the recruitment strategy is implemented and the transition will be gradual, so the new workforce will need to be well aligned with Kraft Heinz new needs and demands.